Hey everyone, it's me, Seth, and today I'll be unboxing the Plum Paper Planners that I bought. So here's the box. This would have looked a lot better if I didn't peel off the address labels. But there's our logo. It looks really nice. It's down here. It says plumpaper.com. And on either side, I don't know if you can see it, it has a website, which is www.plumpaper.com. In the front, it had a, um, it had like a tab that you pull but I wanted to see it before I filmed, so I already did that. So yeah, let's open it up. It's heavy, but um, it's really nicely packaged. It has some bubble wrap to keep everything safe. But here's my planner. It says my name. I like this design and the designs on both sides. Um, it says 1617, and you'll see why in a second. But I also, since my mother's birthday is today when the video will be going up, I got her one too. It says Heather, which is my mother's name. It has a little monogram. Um, everything in hers is the same as mine. Uh, so I'm just going to show you mine. Okay, so here's the planner. I got this design, which is the same on the back. Um got it personalized with my name, it says 1617 up there, but the cover's made out of like a nice plastic material, it feels strong, the coil feels strong too, nice and thick, I don't think the coil is going to like bend or anything, but you open it up, it says daily planner, plum, plum paper, and this planner belongs to, which I haven't filled out yet because I just opened it, I like writing with a fountain pen, and if anyone's ever written with a fountain pen, it pretends to like bleed through printer paper and this does not feel like you're running the mill like 20 pound printer paper, so I like that. But you open it up, it has the 2016 year overview and then 2017 year overview. And then it jumps right into the months. It has this like nice little monogram type thing and the cover page, I guess matches the color of the tab so like if you go to March it's that color but um, if you notice mine starts on February which is because from the time you order it online until the time it arrives at your door it's like three weeks so I wanted to start at the beginning of a month and not have to start almost at the end because today's January 20th so I would have had to waste three weeks of a month made with like, I don't know, it's plasticky too, but it's not as strong as the cover. But you open it, there's the February monthly goals, some birthday spaces, some events, things to remember. But I like these goal things because since I run direct sales, I can write my goals here, which is really nice. And then they have a space for notes. And then you have your monthly overview. But there's like a thing over here, you can make like to-do list for the month or anything. What are you doing? And let's see, yep. I just wanted to make sure that they remembered that this year's a leap year. Let's turn this. And then you have your February weeks. So this actually works out really well because Monday is the first. So I like that. There's like a weekly list for now. There's notes. There's like a little month calendar to see. But I got mine set up in the morning, afternoon, evening like set up and then at the bottom it has a checklist so that could be also be used for to-dos so yeah um but you can see at the end like since the 29th is on a Monday and this calendar runs from like Monday through Sunday all these would be March dates and they're all gray but what's confusing is if you flip to March and then turn, you have the 29th here and then all these. I don't like the like repetition of the days. To each around, there's April, which is like a peach color. It's my birthday month. And then May, then blah, 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 all the way up until January of the next year. I got the 12 months, so it'll go all the way to January um, of 2017. In addition to the normal monthly planner, I also got the um, direct sales insert. Let's turn. You have like these monthly overviews which have like goals, to-dos, incentives I offered, who earned the incentives, 
And then like, you have like these monthly stats which like says t sales, team members, giveaways, parties, goals, and then actual um, what worked, what didn't, which I like. So you can like try stuff and then mark down if it worked or not. And then the party schedule, which I hope to fill this up. And at the top it says like, can you even see that? Month and then year, and there's 12 of these. This, I really liked. I got, there's, it came with three of these, it came with three of these party planning lists, and it has like, hostess information, uh, the party date, uh, party summary, pre-party checklist, post-party checklist, bookings from the party, recruits, and then notes about the party. So it comes with like three of these, but I'm hopeful, so I got ten more for a dollar. Okay, and then there's to-dos, a to-do list, little check box, to-dos, notes. There's um, monthly tasks, but you like write down what you want to do and then tally off what you want. The bad thing about this is that it started on January and goes through December. And I got like February through January calendar, but meh. There's a mileage tracker, which I really like because you can write off like a certain amount of mileage or something whenever you do your taxes if it's for business. So I like having that there that you can track it. Um, there's another sheet over here. There's passwords, which I probably won't use because I store all my passwords on an app in my phone. Uh, there's hostess contacts. There's lead contacts, consultant contacts, um, income and expenses, which I really like. So you can like track how much your commissions are, and you can like keep track of your business expenses, which you can write off too. Um, monthly expenses has like income, expenses, giving savings and debt. I'm a student so that debt section will steadily climb. And then I got another section which is the notes section and it's just a bunch of notes pages which I am definitely going to be using for direct sales because my awesome team leaders Amy Stonehill and Caitlin Green always tell us like we have team calls and like just all this information on our Facebook page and it's nice to like jot it down so someone can be like what's this project good for and you can just like flip open and say oh they said like it's good for this but yeah uh, there's just some of these blank pages that's standard in all of the planners special dates um, Another sheet for passwords, uh, just normal contacts. Um, there's a list of the holidays and like what day they fall on. Um, and then there's a 2018 <laughs> overview. So this will last you a while. And then there's this little like section in the back. It says four keeps and it's like a little folder and it's on both sides. But I thought that was nice.